And this segment is sponsored by Apple Federal Credit Union. Most of us have experienced the love and calming presence that a pet can provide. But for those who've experienced trauma, having that buddy right there with you makes all the difference between life and death. Today, we meet a Virginia organization that trains service and therapy dogs. All the work done by volunteers to enrich the lives of our frontline heroes. From the warm, furry cuddles to the cold nose nudges, these pups are ready to deploy smiles and happiness to everyone they meet. They are part of Canine Caring Angels, a Northern Virginia organization that trains psychiatric service and therapy dogs for our military and first responders. Dogs offer so much and they require so little from us. Love and affection, they need guidance, they need structure, and they'll do anything for you. Sunny Madsen founded Canine Caring Angels after her daughter returned from deployment. She was not the same kid. She needed help. I couldn't figure out how to help her. And it was a chance encounter with a man and his service dog at Arlington National Cemetery that helped Sunny find her answer. She went over and spoke to him, and it was the first time I saw any spark in her at all. So I got it in my head to come home, and I was going to buy a service dog. I had no idea how complicated and how careful you have to be. So I decided to train one, and it changed my whole life. Now, 10 years later, Canine Caring Angels has trained hundreds of service and therapy dogs that are helping people heal across the country. I have an officer who I think said it best. More, more dogs, less drugs. I don't cry or tear up very often, but this is one of those moments. For Sergeant First Class Tim French, his service dog Gunner saved his marriage and his life. After multiple deployments coming back, I wasn't struggling with my job, but I was struggling at home. I was struggling to come back to just be out in the world. And now I'm deeply involved in my family again. I've been able to coach my kids' soccer team now. And Gunner's every much part of that, and he is 100% the reason why I still have a family. The help a service dog provides extends to the whole family. Amanda Smith's husband is retired Sergeant First Class Josh Smith. His dog, Shelby, helps her also recognize the signs of distress. I might go into a crowd and be like, well, this is fine, where he might not realize that he doesn't even realize that maybe sometimes that he's stressing out, or she definitely senses it, and we'll pull him out of the situation. These caring angels have brought so much healing and love, but none of that would be possible without their trainers, all of whom are volunteers. To be a psychiatric service dog, they require 600 hours of training. And our trainers, they don't bat an eye. Uh, they just say, what do, I need, what do I need to do? How can I help? It's the selfless and tireless work of the volunteer trainers like Olivia Cassandra and Simone Puffenbarger that enrich the lives of these heroes. I always knew that therapy and service dogs provided a purpose and did improve people's lives, but to actually now see it firsthand, it really is like, a, it, it's, just, it's just something incredible to see. They are literally saving lives every day. And it's just so fulfilling to know that I can be a part of helping someone get out in public again, helping firefighters deal with the things that they have to see, and just be able to give joy to the world by what little I do. And a little goes a long way. So Apple Federal Credit Union wanted to honor Olivia and Simone for helping our heroes. So, Olivia, for you, I heard that you're an adventurous spirit. Um, so on behalf of Apple Federal Credit Union, we have booked you a private two-person hot air balloon ride over the Blue Ridge. Wow. Okay, so that's for you. And then Simone, I um, can tell by your nails that you do like to glam it up a little bit. <laughs> and on behalf of Apple Federal Credit Union, we're excited to provide you a day at the spa. So you'll go to the Salamander Resort in Middleburg, Virginia. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yep. Oh, <laughs> They're not able to do that without the help of the volunteers. And anything we can do to support the folks who are supporting and protecting us we're really happy and honored to do at Apple Federal Credit Union. Thank you, Katie and Apple Federal Credit Union and to K9 Caring Angels and all the volunteers, an incredible organization. If you want to find out more about how Apple Federal Credit Union spreads kindness in the community as part of its Kindness Rocks campaign, just head to applefcu.org community.